The next part of my Tasmanian adventure started with a visit to the beautiful Mount Field National Park. Even though I didn't have an opportunity to shoot there during the evening, I did want to visit the awesome waterfalls within a short walk from the visitor's centre. Russell Falls is probably Tasmania's most well-known waterfall, and I could see why. Even the walk down to the falls is well worth a visit. Just up the track from Russell Falls in a hidden corner is the absolutely beautiful Horseshoe Falls. This is probably my favourite, as it just seems to have that mystical feel about it. I don't know, a really beautiful subject for photography. After spending a lovely time enjoying the sights of the area, I made my way north along the central highlands of the state. I certainly felt the temperature decrease rapidly as I journeyed across this barren but quite scenic drive. One of the highlights was when I encountered snow for the first time on my trip. It fell lightly as I drove through the Lakes District, but it was quite heavy on the side of the road. I just had to stop and see what this white stuff was scattered all through the bush. While stopping for a cuppa, I sent the drone up to see what this area looked like from above. The sun appeared and the snow stopped, but it was still a lovely spot to sit and ponder the rest of my trip. My next stop was Liffey Falls, and once again I really enjoyed the walk down to the fast flowing water. Sweeping pathways lined with beautiful moss and ferns covered the track. I could certainly get used to spending time in this part of the world. But in the back of my mind as the day progressed was my decision on where I'd be looking to shoot nightscapes later that evening. It wasn't an easy decision and I spent so much time checking the weather apps to see where I might find some clear skies tonight. Hello again, welcome back to the channel. Today I've been touring around the Highlands Central Region of Tasmania, absolutely gorgeous place. Uh, it's quite an elevated view. So I saw a bit of snow, which was great because I haven't seen snow for, well, since the last time I was in Tasmania. Uh, made my way to Liffey Falls, and uh, that's a great little spot. A uh, bit of a drive to get down there, but I took some photos down the bottom, and uh, I was loving the little walk through the fernery and everything else to get down into that area. Then I've just, come from the gorgeous little town of Deloraine and um, I had uh, sort of an afternoon tea and coffee there and that was beautiful. Now it's getting later in the afternoon and I'm on the hunt for some good clear sky. Now it's okay here at the moment but I think the better weather is over towards the east of here so I'm gonna jump in the car and do a bit of a mad dash over that way and look for a subject matter for a nightscape shoot for tonight before it gets dark. So let's go. As I travelled towards the east, I had a location in mind, but it was going to be a risk to get clear skies at this spot according to the weather forecast. Nevertheless, I decided to risk it. Let's face it, my track record so far on this trip has actually been pretty good, so I reckoned it was going to be worth it. Well guys, I was wondering if any of you had worked out where I was going with that little bit of footage coming up the hill. Well, here I am, Jacob's Ladder, that's a big clue. I'm at the Ben Lomond National Park and I'm going to go right to the top and hopefully the weather stays like it is now. It's clear as anything and the forecast, it was a bit of a risk coming here because the forecast wasn't saying it was totally clear, but it looks exactly the same as last time I came here. Um, clouds off in the distance not much here in fact it's beautiful down there towards the north 
and I can't see any clouds at all down towards the south or the east and that's perfect. Gee, it's cold here. It's absolutely freezing. Probably about two degrees and I've got to go further up. So it's, it's going to get down to zero tonight, I reckon. Oh, look at that view. It is just beautiful here. All right, I'm going to try and shoot some subject matter that I didn't shoot last time when I was here a couple of years ago. I'm really, really looking forward to this. Let's get up there. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, here I am up at the ski lodge area. It is bitterly cold up here. There's snow already on the ground, on the, on the leaves of all the shrubs. So the last time I was here was April, a couple of years ago. Nowhere near this cold. Um, there's a few more people around this time. Last time there was no one here. There's a few people over there, a few, few cars up at the lodge up there. That's about it. So a uh, good thing I've been here before because it's given me some idea of some of the compositions that I might want to shoot. But there's a bit of a wind blowing straight across that, that mountain. Oh boy, oh boy. The sun hasn't even gone down properly yet and it's, it's got to be zero degrees, I reckon. I don't know what it's going to get down to tonight, but this is a ski resort, so it's meant to get cold. All right. Let's just wait and see what happens. It's a clear sky. There is some cloud over there to the west, so I want that to stay there for at least a few hours. Gee, I'm going to have to get those lens warmers on tonight. I might need one on my hands, I think. Whoo okay. Oh, this looks good. Have a look at this beauty. Someone's just put it there in the right place for me. Oh, boy, oh boy, I think I'm gonna to have to put a few more layers on. Awesome. We'll see if I can light this baby up tonight. Facing the right direction too. Oh yeah. Have a look at those icicles hanging off the roof. Well, here's another subject that could work for me. This nice little hut, just sitting here. Oh boy, that wind is getting to me. If it wasn't windy, it wouldn't be too bad. I gotta try and shelter from the wind. Look at that. That could be a great subject. I'll do a bit of light painting on that. Oh yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to go and get warm but I can see quite a few compositions around here. Oh, I'm excited. All right, so I've made my way down off the top of the hill. <sighs> it's still cold. The car says minus two degrees, so, um, and it's only 5.30 p.m., so I think it's gonna get colder than minus two. But anyway, you can see the moon is about a, I think it's about an 8% moon It'll be setting over there soon, so it won't have any impact on my images at all. Um, but I'm going to have something to eat first thing, warm up, have a good hot cup of tea. Just wait for it to get dark and then I'm going to get into it. Oh, Whew. it took me ages to thaw my fingers out. I think I might have to wear a second pair of gloves. I've never done that before. So this is probably going to be the coldest place that I've ever actually shot. And I know some of you from Canada and, and Alaska and places in, in Europe are gonna say I'm a wimp. Well, maybe I am, I'm an Australian wimp. But uh, anyway, I'm here, I'm gonna make the most of it. Whew. Okay, let's get into it. So the first thing I'm gonna need here is some hot water. So I'll get my little, well, I'll get my tripod out. This is what I use to boil my water, get my jet boil. And stick him on there. This has been fantastic, this system. It's working so well. I just hope the jet boil works okay in this cold weather. Because typically these gas fired stoves don't like it cold. Well, not this cold anyway. But I need hot water. Otherwise, I'm not gonna make it through the night. Oh, this is one way of warming up. Nice bit of fire under there with the gas. Oh, boiling water. 
Oh, it's all right, isn't it? Oh, this is awesome. Where else would you want to be? All right, that's boiling. Now I'm going to put in the thermos to keep it hot. Oh, look at that. That's what we need. Oh, gee, I've overfilled it. There we go. Perfect. Hopefully, that lasts me the whole night. Because I'm going to need it, I tell you. Oh dear, oh dear, what a mixed bag we had tonight. I don't know if you can hear, but there's a howling gale blowing out there at the moment. So I've taken refuge back in the car, and to be honest with you, I think I'm done and dusted for the night. Now, as you saw, I did actually manage to capture some pretty good images. Um, and, you know, I think it was well worth the risk I took to drive all the way over here, hoping that the sky would be clear. Now, the forecast said it wouldn't be, but it looked like it was, and that's what I went by. Now, as it turns out, you saw there, there was a lot of fog, uh, a fair bit of cloud came across, there was mist, uh, and there was ice everywhere all over the, over the ground. So I've got, a, a, as I said, a mixed bag of images, but you know, I'm happy. It's part of the adventure. I think this nightscape photography is an adventure, and this trip around Tasmania has, has shown me, you know, we're always learning new things, and I think it's important to see areas that we can we can try something different or you know embrace something a little bit more challenging and i think that's what i've done this time 
So I'm going to leave it there. I really do appreciate you watching again. Uh, I'm going to find somewhere to sleep for the night. It's minus three degrees up here, so I think I'm going to go down the mountain somewhere else. It'll probably be about one or two degrees, but at least that's a bit warmer. I've run out of hand warmers. I had some in my gloves, believe it or not, and they lasted about 15 minutes. <laughs> it's just too cold. Uh, but anyway, look, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. Uh, I've got a couple more adventures here in Tasmania, so stick with me. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Leave a comment down below. Love reading through them. If you want to subscribe to the channel, I'd love to have you on board because this type of content, well, it's what I do, nightscape photography. This trip, I'm sprinkling in a few other images just to show you around the place. And I think uh, hopefully you'll enjoy that. But anyway, I'll look forward to seeing you next time. You have a fantastic week. I'll see you later.